what's going on guys this is jz welcome to my channel so my frustration led me to find some tricks to find these stygian fragment a lot faster so as you can see other players are also going to show up and there are a couple of things that you guys need to know so the first thing is when you start these tower tower rifts make sure that you actually just leave the orange area and you don't have to worry about not finding the stygian fragment if you leave the area you actually can find them but the game actually makes tries to make it easier for you telling that in this orange area you can find the stygian tower but however you can still farm for Stygian fragment outside the orange area or you can end up finding the Stygian tower in other zone I mean in the other area as well so as you can see you will be noticing me running around outside the map and coming back especially I am staying around the areas where I don't see map I mean the other players when I see them I just leave the area and there is one more thing which I find really really annoying which is auto tagged monsters or enemies you can say even though when they are not going to be other players around but some of the enemies are already tagged with other players so what it would mean is if you actually destroy those monster the thing is that those stygian fragments will not actually drop for you instead it will drop for the place that it is being tagged for and honestly that doesn't make any sense to me because these stygian fragments do not show on the map for place to find out that somebody has killed the monster for them so they so that now they can actually come to that area and pick them up so that is pretty stupid and slows you down as well but as you can see i am running around and i was also coming back inside the area because i wanted to find the tower as well so i made my way back and I saw a couple of enemies here which were not tagged so I said alright you malakas are going down I'm taking you down as, and as you can see I'm close to 200 so at this moment I really needed to find the tower but there is another good thing that I found out that you actually don't need to rush to find the tower you can actually keep on farming until you are ready to open these towers meaning let's say if you find 400 stygian fragments and doesn't open the tower that is fine you can do that what it will help you do is once you interacted with one tower or and finished it then you can go to the next one right away so that is also a good way to farm for these stygian fragments now if you find monster when you are on your way to the tower make sure that you do not leave them or try to rush for the tower because they are going to stay safe for your next run and here I click to see where it, it would lead me for the next tower and here as you can see I have 14 stadium fragments still and I didn't get anything except 6 here so other players were around as well but the tagging is what makes it worse and on top of that the leg the leg is really bad and 1 million health from the monster on inferno 6 is actually not a lot for a player like me who is around 3200 resonance or higher so still because of the lag the time to kill was longer and it was making me waste my time staying around the same area making sure that everyone is dead and i have dealt enough damage to put all of them down 
here was the next tower i think yeah i found it really fast here then i started to free roam much more freely found a ancient somewhere as well also i was able to open three stygian spire or the tower you can say in this run and i have been doing this for a couple of runs now but honestly i would still say the same thing that density needs to be little increased or it is fine but the spawn time is really slow it should be a lot faster and the server need to be more stable it's really bad with the lag sh and shattering and here you can notice that the monsters there is a lot of lag so it actually waste your time you wouldn't know how much damage you need to give them to put them down even when you have a good damage and if you are somewhat a free player and really small spender then this could be a nightmare for you and i really feel bad honestly but it is what it is the end the eternal gate drop just ah uh, that's really bad guys i have done like seven already now since yesterday and yeah it sounds like not much but it is actually quite time consuming because you have to show up every half an hour and do them and doing them seven times mean i actually spend a lot of time doing this and there are other stuff as well which i did inside the game like dungeon farming my shadow stuff and rifts and i still need to try out the pvp which i didn't get a chance but yeah eternal gear to drop chance is not looking really shiny there and i did get one eternal gear drop but not for the spire stuff the stygian spire and developers might end up fixing some of the things like i really don't like the auto tagged monsters the spawn time is really slow there are way too many trash monsters and not enough leads the drop chance is bad for the eternal gear itself and if they want to keep the auto fragment I mean auto tag for monster then those fragments should show up on the map as well and other than that developers have more plans for the eternal gear with the upcoming updates which we do not know about much but yeah it will expand a lot more later on with update but yeah these are some of the things tricks which i find are working really well make sure that you feel free to run out of the orange area find monsters there take them down and just try to enjoy it if you can i kind of like it and not at the same time it's different it's quite solo and fun but it's time consuming that is what i did not like and especially it gives me the vibe of keon's ordeal where you have to show up at the time or you're going to miss it and it is really time sensitive even though when there are seven hours six hour time i mean period that you can enter it with but you have to be on the time to join them and if you don't then you are going to have less time inside the terror rifts so that is bad i wish there was some other way so we can do it on our own schedule but since it has a like a week to cap i guess that is fine but we shall know soon how everyone is saying it it's just the second of day now that the patch came out so yeah but anyways i hope these tips helps you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys